Hey guys, so this is a different video. Um, I'm going to show you in this video sort of mostly about these colored pencils that I got. They're artist colored pencils. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you had seen my video I did a while ago, a little while ago, um, and it was like my artwork then and now, I said in there that I've never really taught myself, now mind you, I'm not like the best artist, um, but I've never really taught myself how to like color and shade. So I got these color pencils to sort of just get some practice in and start sort of <clears throat> learning and teaching myself. Um, I'm still a super beginner. I've only done really like a few pictures or drawings of mine that I've colored. And I honestly think that I didn't do too bad for my first try. Um, I've never tried to color and shade. So I want to show you these color pencils because they're not too expensive and they work pretty well but I got them at Hobby Lobby and I paid $11.99 for them and I've seen someone else review them and I think they said they paid $9.99 so I guess they bumped the price up but they're these color pencils right here and they're called the fine touch let me see if I can't I don't know if you can read that but they're called the fine touch and they're at Hobby Lobby and sorry I know my camera's shaky so I know this is weird, but I kind of keep them in this like popcorn container just because it fits all of them. Um, you get 48. I'm going to move this out of the way and dump these out really quick. So you get 48 pencils in the box, and they have a pretty large array of color selection, which is awesome. Um, even though these are eleven ninety nine, these are still fairly cheap, cheaply priced colored pencils. So they're not going to be the best. They're not like um, Prisma color quality, but for beginners and people that are starting out and just trying to learn, these are great for those. And these would be awesome for children's projects as well, as well, because it's just such an array of color. Now I have um, like regular pencils mixed in here. I'm going to get those out real quick. And I also have my Sharpie pen with that has a fine tip that I use to um, <clears throat> do some line work on my pictures. If you had seen my uh, artwork video, I showed you that and kind of explain what that is. I also got one of these Mars um, plastic erasers. And these erasers are super inexpensive and they work very well. Um, these colored pencils, I've only used them uh, about seven or eight times now, and I already have my opinion on them um, as a beginner. Mind you, throughout this whole video, I am a beginner, so this is kind of like just a beginner talking to other beginners, basically. Um, but these pencils sharpen super easily, like even easier than regular number two pencils. Um, they are wax-based, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And this Mars eraser will erase these, which is pretty good in case you're wanting to like erase a spot to add a highlight um, or like a glare or something. Or if you accidentally get a little out of the line, they erase fairly easily. Like not, they're not going to be as easy to erase as regular number two pencils, but they erase fairly easy easily. So I have another number two pencil in here. Anyway, the array of colors here, I'm going to try my best to put these colors more together. So hold on a second. Okay, so this might not be the greatest for everyone with OCD, but I just want to show you sort of the array of colors. Um, <clears throat> sorry, like I said, super huge, nice array of colors. You have quite a bit of shades of every color here. Um, I love this. You have everything from white to black, and they even threw in nice little touches like a really cool silver, I hope you can see, um, and also a gold. So there's like several shades of brown, there's several shades of blues, reds, purples, oranges, yellows, greens, grays even. There's a few different tones of gray, like from the silver to a lighter gray to like a darker gray. And of course you could get gray from black as well. Um, if you're asking what the white is for, 
It can be used several different ways. I find that taking white over an already laid down color doesn't really add much of a highlight. Um, but it can help with blending and things, and if you wanted to lighten the color, that will help lighten that a little bit as well. So in case you laid down the color and it was a little bit too dark and you wanted to lighten that slightly. Um, I'm going to share with you really quick some YouTubers that I watch. Of course, Bob Ross is on here. I don't know if anybody that grew up in the 90s, which I'm pretty sure he was filmed before the 90s, but... Bob Ross came on television all the time, and he's a painter. I just really like watching him. Um, but real channels on here that deal with drawing and colored pencils and other ways and techniques would be like Polera, and I'll try to link all of these down below in case you're interested. The Painting Channel, and my most watched one that I watch all the time is Mark Crilly. Um, you'll just have to check out his channel if you're interested in drawing. He's awesome at explaining things, and he's a great teacher, so I really like watching him. So here is all of these colors, and like I said, they're called the Fine Touch. Um, and now I'm going to show you some things that I've done with these so far. So like in this little popcorn bucket, I will keep regular number two pencils, my Sharpie marker to darken lines, and all of my colored pencils. And here is my sketchbook that I showed in that artwork video of mine and it's just a, a Canson sketchbook, an extra large one. Let me make sure you can see. It's You can get these at Walmart. They're pretty inexpensive and I really really like them. Um, they're acid free and this is the extra large one and this is made out of recycled materials that I so I really like that. 30% recycled but 9 inch by 12 inch um, 100 sheets of paper. It has a medium tooth and I just really, really like this brand of sketchbook. I love how big the... So, this pumpkin here... I hope the lighting isn't horrendous. Um, but this pumpkin here, I just quickly sketched out a pumpkin. And this was my first time trying to use these colored pencils. And learn how to shade and highlight with different um, variations of color from the same color range. Um... And one thing that can help you a lot with that, with learning your color shades and stuff like that, is just Google a color wheel, and that'll help you there. Um, but this looks a bit more smooth, and I think it's because I worked really hard with like putting Vaseline on it and trying to do that. But I realize it's just, these aren't the color type of color pencils that will make that really smooth. Like if you look up that Polara channel, when she colors, it's really smooth, and it doesn't look like actual colored pencils. Um, but, like I said, this is just great color pencils for more beginners and people that are just learning. So if you've watched my artwork video, I know I keep mentioning it, I apologize. Um, and also like my What's on My Phone video, I've mentioned a few times that I write fan fictions. I write a Naruto fan fiction and a Walking Dead fan fiction. Um, so this is Naruto and my original character that I invented for the story. Her name is Kara Uchiha. She's like Sasuke's twin sister. It's a modern Naruto story. Um, but anyway, I had drawn this picture quite a while ago. Like, if you want to see these um, drawings without color, look up that artwork video. I'll try to link that below for you. Um, and I wanted to really just kind of color everything I have just so I can get the most practice out of it that I can. So, believe it or not, um, like, her hair is colored with, like, four different colors, and his is done with three different shades of yellow, and this is done with, um, two shades, two shades, two or three shades, and then, like, this is two shades, um, and the skin as well is also two, two separate colored pencils, but just depending on how light you color to how dark, hard you're pressing, um, which the harder you press, the more you're going to damage the tooth of the paper. So it's just going to be harder to blend at that point. So don't press too hard. Just kind of go very lightly at first and work your way up from there. Um, so <clears throat> you can get several different shades just out of one colored pencil just simply by using less force with your fingers or more pressure. Um, and then I did this one. The couch is meant to be white, and I've taken some gray to add some, like, shadow there. Um, but this isn't really a finished thing. Um, 
Also, I started this one, which is the Rinnakumara one. And I also... I, this is the second one that I ever tried. That pumpkin one was my first attempt, and this one was my second attempt. I hope you can really see. I hope the lighting is just not screwing everything up. Sorry for the shakiness. So, her hair is like several different shades. Um, and the pitch black marks, that's from that Sharpie pen. And I had done this with a regular number two pencil before I got the colored pencils. But I just want to show you, in case like you're a beginner and you're scared to sort of try colored pencils, um, it's actually quite simple just getting to this level. Um, as you can see, my first attempt wasn't too horrendous. Um, and the last one I colored, I believe, was this one, but this one I, I spent more time on. You had to really take your time and press lightly and things like that. So I'll try to demonstrate what I mean here. Okay, here is a super random sketch of flowers. This is just me being bored and just doing whatever. But I'm going to use this to try and quickly show you um, my technique of doing this. Any great artist which I'm not saying I'm a great artist. I'm just saying any great artist will tell you to look up different people's techniques and try other people's techniques um, and see what works well for you. So we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> try to do this. I haven't even darkened this with the Sharpie pen, so I'm not doing this to be perfect or anything. I'm just going to try and quickly show you my technique of stuff. Okay, the only thing about these color pencils is that they don't have names of the colors on here. Um, but what I'll do when I go to start is I'll think of what color I want this to be, and I want this to be sort of a light, lightish red. So then I'll go through all of my color pencils and I'll pick out several tones of reds that I like, and then I'll go from there and like maybe I'll put one back, or maybe I'll keep one, or maybe in the process of using them I'll realize I don't need all of them. So anyway, I go try to go from like light to dark. Um, so I have chosen, let me see here, I have chosen this sort of orangey light red, which would almost be like a scarlet red, this darker shade of red, and then this brown here has um, reddish tones in it. So I'll go from the lightest shade first. So I'm going to use this orangey red. And what I'll do first is I'll hold my pencil far back here so that I can get the lightest touch. Because I don't want to make this dark at all. Um, I'm going to pick my lightest shade and use the lightest touch and color this whole flower. And this is basically like me laying down my base color. So like if you do makeup, <laughs> I know that's totally random, but... You know, usually you would put some type of moisturizer or primer before applying foundation and other things. This is just your base to work with. So let me color all of this and then we'll go from there. And quickly, all I'm doing is using, because I just find that this works the best, circular motions. Um, and I'll go from small circular motions to wider ones just depending on how much of a area I'm trying to cover. Now there's going to be some gray smeared into here because I did not go over this with that Sharpie pen and let that Sharpie pen dry. Um, all I did was completely go on top of this like this marking right here is just regular number two graphite pencil. Um, so that will smear into the color and there'll be some gray added but I was just trying to I'm just using this to show you as an example of my technique for doing this. So I have my base color and I'll immediately use the same color and I'll find areas where I want to shade and I'll just press slightly harder than what I did to lay this color down all over and it already is a whole nother shade of color using the same pencil. This is, this is what I mean. You don't necessarily need to use 20 different pencils to achieve different shades that you want. 
Sometimes I'll use only two pencils, and that's because I can get away with just doing this technique where I'm just pushing a little bit harder to make the color darker, which is where a shading area would be. Essentially, when I do this, th it makes this color, when I push harder, it makes this color closer to this color, and that's what I want, and I'll show you why after I lay down um, some simple shading areas. Now, I'm not going to get too detailed with this, because again, I'm just trying to show you technique. Um, but if you want to see a more a more detailed video of just about my technique of shading, let me know in the comments below and I will try to film that. Right now I'm just trying to do a quick little example video basically. And again I'm using small circular motions here to do this. <clears throat> I moved that box out of the way so hopefully it won't cover up sunlight. <laughs> Okay, again, you can add as little or as much shade as you want, wherever you want, whatever shape of it you want. I'm just using this again for an example. So now I'm going to move on to that darker red, and I'm going to cover over this entire area once again using a lighter hand <clears throat> because it is a darker shade, and I don't want to make this too dark just yet. You want to just go as light as possible at first and work your way up to harder, darker spots. Um, just because it's a lot easier to add more than it is to take away. That train had to blow that horn just as I was talking. Do you hear how incredibly rude that train is right now? <laughs> to keep these, this pencil sharpened while doing this is to simply rotate your pencil. Okay, so already sometimes I would take this pencil and again go over my shading areas, but I don't feel like that's necessary here um, because I had pressed down hard enough to make that first pencil shade with quite a bit of darkness. So I want to now go over my reddish brown color. This is sort of like a brick color and I'm going to again lightly go over this area. And if I feel like I want it to appear darker than what's coming off, then I will just move my finger closer to the point of the pencil and just use a little bit more force to do that. I do want to try to, however, make sure that this color is pretty even throughout the entire picture because I don't want there to be just unevenness in it. So right there you can already see there is some different variations in shading and if I wanted to I could try to use this to go back over some of the shading and just hardly press here because again the harder you press the darker it's going to make it so you just want to kind of go light at first see if that's what you want if you want it darker then just add a little bit of pressure and gradually move up from there until it's exactly how you want it to be and again this isn't how I would probably normally color this um, I say that because I would probably add more areas of shading and more details but it, again this is just a, an example so you can of course do whatever you want with yours sometimes with drawing the more details you add the nicer it will look the more time you spend the nicer it will look, um, most especially for beginners. You can't go the lazy route every time because um, your work will just show that most of the time. So sometimes if I feel like it's too dark or too brown, I can lighten it slightly with the first color I laid down um, or I could add more of the second color 
it's just a, a matter really of playing with your colors until it's exactly where you want it. And of course if you want to blend these colors more, you can of course go off to the side of the paper and see exactly what this color does when it's used with lighter pressure or harder pressure so that you don't mess up the actual picture. So I feel like the lighting is incredibly harsh or really bad. So I'm going to show you the erasability of this real quick. I'm going to use my darker color and my lighter color and just show you with this eraser. These colors um, don't necessarily disappear all the way, but they do, it does lighten it up considerably. So while coloring, I would be super extra careful and just take your time and work kind of slow and just make sure that you put in as much detail as you feel is necessary. So I apologize. I know this video wasn't necessarily like the best video in the world, um, but I really hope it helps somebody or at least gave you some encouragement or some ideas. Or maybe you'd like to pick up these fine touch pencils from Hobby Lobby yourself and just give them a try on your own. Um, and again, I will try to link the channels that I mentioned earlier down below, and I will also link my artwork video down below as well, in case you're interested in that. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content if you haven't already. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to say so in the comments. Bye, guys!